Greetings agents. Once again, we are bringing to light the documents that further demonstrate the lengths the SCP Foundation is willing to go, always chasing its insatiable thirst for knowledge. They justified their means by claiming they only experiment on criminals. However, as we'll see, they are just another group for whom the ends justify any means necessary. Item number SCP-1166 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1166 is to be contained in Animal Testing Laboratory 51F at Site 23. SCP-1166 is to be maintained in accordance with established care and feeding protocols for Ratus Nevergicus and housed in an appropriate enclosure. Also, 2011, all research projects and experiments involving SCP-1166 must be submitted to the Site 23 Ethics Committee for approval. At the committee's discretion, a Class C amnestic is to be administered to SCP-1166 after completion of designated projects and experiments, with a minimum recuperation period of two weeks before the commencement of additional research. All staff initially assigned to work with SCP-1166 are to be briefed by the research director on its anomalous qualities. Staff may request reassignment on an alternate project immediately following the initial briefing. Description SCP-1166 is a laboratory rat displaying an appearance consistent with a normal instance of R. Norregicus. Blood samples taken from SCP-1166 revealed that it is a genetically manipulated chimera, with samples containing an abnormally high percentage of human cells. Percent. In comparison with previously documented non-anomalous specimens, biopsies revealed the presence of a significant amount of human brain tissue and human nerve cells in SCP-1166 spinal cord. SCP-1166 has been demonstrated to mimic human biology almost exactly in an extensive battery of controlled tests involving D-class personnel with analogous reactions to radiation exposure, heat cold tolerance, rapid decompression, pathogens, including Marburg virus, rabies, and smallpox, toxins, and other external factors. SCP-1166 displays tolerances to experimental conditions equal to those expected of a 65kg human male. Upon death, SCP-1166 will spontaneously revive after a period of between 18 to 45 minutes. Tissue, vital organs, and bodily fluids are seemingly regenerated prior to revival, to the point where several limbs have been documented to grow back. As documented in the intake report and subsequent cognition tests, SCP-1166 is sapient and fully capable of communicating in English with research staff when provided with proper means. Recovery Log 1166 Following reports received by undercover agents monitoring Corporation, a pharmaceutical firm, SCP-1166 was recovered clandestinely by Foundation Operatives on during initial trials for an experimental psychotropic drug. Notes confiscated from these trials indicate that corporate management was aware of SCP-1166 heightened intelligence and ability to communicate, and as such, had identified it as a highly desirable test subject for neurochemical-based pharmaceuticals. Note the rats in the possession of corporation were observed to demonstrate the anomalous properties exhibited by SCP-1166. It is currently unknown how the corporation obtained a specimen that apparently was the end product of genetic engineering far surpassing currently available technology. After recovery of SCP-1166, Class E amnestics were administered to researchers and three executives of corporation. An H-type internet-based disinformation campaign was commenced by staff due to several references to SCP-1166 by a radical animal rights group. Intake Report 1166 Upon assuming custody of SCP-1166, Dr. conducted the following interview. SCP-1166 was provided with a specially modified touchpad in order to respond to staff inquiries through a text generator. 
Please provide a brief description of yourself for the record, SCP-1166. I'm a white laboratory rat. Specimen R826111. No white wine hurting starts when they say R826111. SCP-1166, do you know why you are currently in possession of the Foundation? Foundation makes doctor. Stop hurting we. Foundation not who hurt we. I am not going to hurt you, SCP-1166. Now, you have been observed to experience a state indistinguishable from clinical death, and then subsequently revive. Yet you retain memories prior to each instance of death. Is this accurate? Is this accurate, SCP-1166? R8261 Len, remember many many times. Pain for 7 mil. But better now, Doctor. Are you aware of other specimens similar to yourself in existence? No. Do you have any insight as to how you come to be self-aware and able to communicate with humans? No. That will be all, SCP-1166. Addendum. Prior to the commencement of Experiment 1166-3, researcher filed a formal complaint with the Site 23 Ethics Committee. Relevant documentation as follows. Request for review by Site Ethics Committee. SCP involved. SCP-1166. Request by Researcher. Priority B2. Comments. SCP-1166 displays intelligence that may be equivalent to that of a normal human, along with emotions such as sadness, anxiety, and fear. Unlike a standard D-class subject, SCP-1166 has not committed any crimes against established society, nor has it consented to any. Carrying out Experiment 1166-3, or indeed any of the other planned research related for SCP-1166, would be an act of wanton cruelty, for no purpose except to confirm what we already know. Science does not require that we abandon our morals, such as they are in this place, and neither I nor any other researcher can continue the inhumane treatment of this poor being. We still have consciousness, damn it! Memorandum 2. Doctor From Site 23 Ethics Committee RE Review Request 1166 After three rounds of voting over a two-day period involving numerous abstentions by members, by a 7-6 to six decision, the committee has approved further testing involving SCP-1166, provided that updated parameters regarding its use are adopted. While the committee recognizes the objections of researcher regarding intrusive and painful testing on a sapient and non-consenting life form, SCP-1166 displays properties that must be understood and documented in full by the Foundation. SCP-1166 regenerative properties, in particular, merit further study. Applied knowledge of its principles may have great benefit both in the containment of dangerous phenomena and in use by Foundation staff. This being said, measures to minimize this stress to SCP-1166 are authorized and encouraged. The committee recommends use of amnestics to reduce SCP-1166 memories of particular traumatic events, and after review of Experiment Log 1166-2, Anesthesia for medical procedures is now required. Research staff are encouraged to communicate with SCP-1166 on a daily basis regarding non-mission sensitive topics as a further means of documenting its anomalous intelligence. Upon his request, researcher has been transferred to work on SCP. Director In law This is not the first file we've exposed that showcases the SCP Foundation's cruelty towards innocent creatures, they're acting as if they lack resources to study regeneration and consciousness in a more efficient way. They attempt to present themselves as understanding of their scientist concerns, while simultaneously issuing the veiled threat of reassignment to more dangerous anomalies if their orders are not followed. It's no surprise that the only thing the Foundation seeks to protect is its own interests. Help us in the fight against the cruelty of the SCP Foundation by leaving your comments and suggestions below. I am Virus Anonimo. We at the GOC, and you have been informed.